Picture yourself as a parent. You walk past your 14-year-old daughter who is using Snapchat, and at first glance, you see the positive side. You see the funny filters, the customizable profile picture, and overall, just a safe space for young teens where any sort of danger seems distant. Something catches your attention. You see a new Snapchat notification appear, and upon opening it, you see the eerie photo of your home, with a text reading, I know where you are. This is no longer just an imagined scenario. It was a real-life case that a young teen in England went through. And it's not just her. Nearly 50% of teens are now fearful not only for the security of their location, but also for their lives. All after the release of SnapMap and its location sharing feature. Yes, this feature can simply be turned off. But the question remains, why was it there to begin with? And why is it still available despite the countless cases of criminal activity that have occurred since its release? Is Snapchat truly a privacy-focused app, or is that just a facade? To understand the intentions behind this feature's release, we must delve into the minds of its creators and explore their thought process. In 2011, a couple of Stanford students, including Snapchat's now CEO, Evan Spiegel, had a vision. The goal was to create an app that would allow users to share photos and videos that disappeared after being viewed. In short, they wanted to defy the concepts of whatever goes on the internet stays there. And social media is filled with fake stuff, or at least wanted to give an illusion of it. In the company's first ever blog post, Spiegel wrote, Snapchat is about capturing the traditional Kodak moment. It's about communicating with the full range of human emotion, not just what appears to be pretty or perfect. And whatever the motive was, it worked. It was a fresh and fun idea that teens loved. Soon, it became so popular that in May 2012, 25 Snapchat images were being sent per second, which is over 2 million per day. And by November 2012, 20 million photos were being shared every day. In 2016, they hit 10 billion daily video views, and by February 2017, they had 160 million daily active users. But despite all the success and user growth, they were not making a lot of money. After all, it was still a business, and it could only scale up when salaries were paid and operations were managed without bearing a loss. Their second major problem was some serious competition as the social media landscape was already dominated by giants like Facebook and Instagram. They were constantly updating, had massive funding, and a lot of innovative features. So Snapchat started experimenting with different ways to generate revenue and be more innovative. One option to add money was ads, like other traditional platforms. But Evan was against the idea. So they decided to be creative with ads so that users won't feel like ads are thrown on their face. Features like Discover, Sponsored Lens, and Story ads were introduced to make money, and updates like 24 Hour Story, Snap Codes, Memories, Voice Filters, and those iconic rainbow puking unicorn or dog filters were added to stand out from the rest. But still, it wasn't enough. Even in 2017, when Snapchat had taken a lot of social media market space, they were still facing competition from Facebook and Instagram that kept on introducing features like stories that were exclusive only to the app of Snapchat. And by continually doing so, that's when SnapMap was released. It was designed to be the next big thing where users could see where their friends were in real time and check out hotspots around the world. It was truly something unique and different, and it was meant to create a more connected and interactive experience. But little did they know this feature is going to become a nightmare, not just for the company, but also for its many users. Previous updates like stories and filters were keeping things light and entertaining for users, and the original concept was also to have a layer of privacy that allows pictures and videos to disappear after being viewed. But with Snap Map, users had to share their real-time location. The good thing is, your location is only shown to your friends, but the bad thing is you don't know who your friend is. Many teenagers like to add their Snapchat username on their Insta bio from where anyone can add them. Many people even add someone as their friend even if they are a random classmate, senior, or even a random person they met at a shop. Therefore, the consequences of this feature have been severe. For example, in 2019, a 23-year-old Miss Cyril was working late at night when she saw her ex-boyfriend outside. This wasn't the first time it had happened, as he would repeatedly appear in public places by chance. So, she reported, and said that he made me feel intimidated. When asked by the magistrate, her ex-boyfriend admitted stalking and claimed to use SnapMap for this purpose, which automatically updates whenever Miss Cyril opens Snapchat. Another case was reported in France on Halloween night when the girlfriend of a man wasn't answering his phone. So, he used a snap map to locate her and went there with a knife. He caught her sitting in a car with another guy, argued with him, and stabbed him in the thigh. 
Many reports have been filed around the world where crimes occurred due to SnapMap. And if you go on Reddit, X, or any other platform, you'll find hundreds of stories where people have been talking about the horrific experiences that they have faced due to this feature. These concerns escalated to the point where police felt compelled to issue child safety warnings. Teenagers and preteens in particular are at high risk due to their potential unawareness of the dangers they may face. Despite the safety concerns, SnapMap has been a core feature. Some tweaks have been made, however. For instance, a ghost mode was introduced that allows users to hide their location from everyone or selected friends. And some might argue that the added privacy options help. But they don't eliminate the fundamental problem. Real-time location sharing can still be risky. Many users may not fully understand or utilize these settings, which leaves them fully exposed to potential dangers. So will SnapMap ever be removed? That's a question only time will answer.